Hi, this is Johnny Shannon from Geospatial Insight, and I'm continuing the series of looking at uh, Map Enterprise. Um, things have changed since uh, I did the last video, which showed how we got the uh, database uh, into uh, this current state on screen. Um, the major thing is that there's been a new version of Map Enterprise that's been released, and what was Feature Analyzer has now become dashboards and so now we're going to be looking at dashboards rather than feature analyzer um, it's pretty much the same uh, the interface has changed a little bit well actually quite considerably um, and the major thing is that there's a lot more functionality a lot more powerful um, in this uh, version of dashboards so we've got our data in what i shall now continue to refer to as dashboard and uh, we want to make this useful for an end user and the way we're going to do that is we're going to add some widgets uh, into the dashboard and uh, see how we can start to slice and dice the data. Um, the first thing we need uh, to help visualize this data is a theme. And so let's go down here and create a theme. And we've got the data set already selected and the field name. Uh, let's have uh, technology, so the type of uh, renewable energy. And if we do that and click, we have the classification as unique, so individual ones, click apply. Um, well, we can see that there's an awful lot of different technologies here, which isn't terribly useful um, for our purposes here. So what I'm going to do in fact is go back to um, the data we've brought in to uh, the browser here and i'm going to create a functional attribute and in best uh, blue peter old style here's one i prepared earlier and what this does is just um, uh, group some of the technologies together. So we're going to have solar, offshore wind, onshore wind, and then hydroelectricity is being grouped together. And then everything else I'm going to lump under other. So I'll click apply on that and click apply there. And oh, actually, let's just show you that uh, if we come back here, we've got a oh, new attribute. I need to edit that, don't I? I forgot to put the uh, title in. So we'll have tech sum for technology summary and click there and apply and close that and now we can go back to uh, here we can change that from technology to tech sum put the proper title in and click apply and now we have uh, our um, uh, grouped uh, technologies. I'm going to change the color as well. Um, I'm going to do a manual color. Other, I'm going to go for brown. Solar, a nice yellow. Hydroelectricity, blue, of course. Wind offshore, a dark green. And wind onshore, a lighter green. And click apply and click close. Um, the more alert among you may have noticed that uh, nothing has changed in the actual the representation of the points on, on the map. So we need to do something about that. And the way we do that is we head into the background, go to the features, and then on color there, we can click on theme colors. I'll knock the opacity up a little bit and change the point style down a little bit and then click apply and there we go that's a little bit better okay um next we want to um maybe have a look at see how we can start filtering this data a little bit as well so not all of these sites are actually operational so let's see if we can uh, put something in that just shows uh, what is operational let's have a drop down list and we'll go for status and again it's unique and i think we'll just change that to status and click apply and close and now um, if we select only things that are operational and click apply there we go we've filtered uh, just the operational uh, uh, renewable energy sites in the uk there 
and we can remove that filter. Uh, what would be useful now would be an indication of how much capacity um, all the sites that we've selected um, have. And so again, we can add another widget in here. This time we're going to use a gauge. We're going to look at the capacity and we'll have a look at the sum of the capacity. And I'll name it properly as well. And there we have it. So we've got a gauge with the capacity. Uh, indicated there and so now at the moment it's uh, automatically set the limit to the highest point there but if we just go to the and filter to operational we can see we can go from uh, 171 down to 45 and then if we have a look at the solar and that will sit down again and so on and so forth and so we can uh, happily start to filter um, the data. Of course, uh, the, the filtering the data is only restricted by the amount of attributes you have in the data set. Um, we can make this uh, look a little bit uh, better as well. If we have a look at um, what we have in our widget configuration. We've also got a title bar. We can show the title bar and we can configure it as well. The data set will go to uh, our active data set. We can customize the logo here. I'm going to change that to sites and so that it uh, references sites rather than anything else. If I click apply, close there, then now we can see that uh, we've got uh, about 7,600 sites. If I click on operational, only 2,700 odd of those are actually operational at the moment. Um, so there you have it. That's uh, gone pretty smoothly, pretty quickly um, from just the raw data in the dashboard into something that's become immediately uh, useful um, and visually pretty compelling as well. If we have a look at um, the data here, we can see that uh, the solar is concentrated pretty much in the south. You'd kind of expect that and that the uh, hydro is concentrated pretty much in the uplands again so that's uh it's it's just a really nice way of being able to visualize uh, a, a data set um i've realized that there's a lot more that i'd like to uh, show you so i'm not going to do that now i'll uh, leave a teaser for the next video in this series as to uh, how to uh, get uh, really serious with uh, data visualization within the dashboard um, but for now, I hope that's been useful and uh, until the next time, uh, bye for now.